This demo will illustrate the workflow for unconventional reservoir analysis using citrine and topaz. The workflow follows three steps. Diagnostics to group wells. Analysis of the well groups either with decline model or using topaz. Finally, we plot statistics and estimate EUR. After loading the data, we start with the diagnostics. Here we characterize flow regimes, identify well performance, and create well groups. The groups can be compared and a type well selected for the analysis of a group. The All Wells default working set is shown in the selection panel. We can group the wells by reservoir. Here, we create a new working set group called Haynesville Wells. The Show Map option can be used to view all the wells on a 2D map. Selecting the Haynesville Wells group highlights them in blue. Default plot templates show graphs to estimate transient and decline behavior. Negative half slope indicates linear flow and a negative unit slope may show SRV bounded behavior. Influence of other parameters can be removed with normalization to identify wells with similar decline behavior. Here, we normalize by cumulative production after six months. The statistics option can be used to view average and P10, 50, and 90 percentile curves on the plots. We select a type well from a group for the next stage, the analysis. First, we show simple empirical models. A NARBS hyperbolic decline model is fitted to the type well. The model is adjusted by using the click and drag option. We can also fit other empirical models from the provided list of models to this well, and the regression tool can be used to provide an initial match. The empirical model match is quickly copied to the other wells in the well group with the in well analysis option, and the curves for the other wells are adjusted. A more advanced method using Topaz fits a model based upon flow equations, fracture, and reservoir properties to match the data. A type well is exported from Citrine to Topaz via the Send Data to RTA button. We can solve the problem analytically first by using the Diagnostic 2 in Topaz to identify flow regimes. Here we can change the well model to a horizontal fractured well and define the fracture parameters. Additional external analytical models specifically for multi-fracture horizontal wells are available for matching the data. These include irregularly spaced fractures, trilinear, and multilinear models. Next, we show the numerical model options. By solving the problem numerically, we can include more complex geometries and reservoir properties such as permeability, porosity, and thickness maps. By using nonlinear analysis, we can take into account properties which can change with pressure, such as multiphase fluids and gas compressibility. This allows us to generate more accurate models and forecast. For a thorough analysis of unconventional wells, we have the option to use the KURC app. If fracture analysis or microseismic information is available, we can expand the numerical options to allow complex multiple fractures of different lengths and orientations. To model naturally fractured reservoirs, discrete fracture networks can be created. Once a model match is obtained, this topaz model can be used as a decline curve to match the other wells. This representative well is transferred back to Citrine. Finally, once a model has been fitted to each of the wells, EUR and field statistics can be generated. We can use the bubbles option to plot a bubble map of the estimated ultimate recovery from the decline curve analysis. We can also create custom plots to visualize the correlation, such as EUR versus number of fracture stages. 
EUR for all the analyzed wells is plotted on a probabilistic graph to show typical P10, P50, and P90 values for future production wells. To summarize, the workflow involves analysis of representative wells and well groups, as opposed to individual analysis of every well. This reduces the workload of the engineer to determine EUR for a large field. We've shown how the analysis can be performed with existing simplistic decline curve models. However, in an alternative workflow, we show how Topaz can be used to perform a more accurate analysis. Once we have modeled a representative well, this decline response is mapped to the other wells in the well group to match models to every well. With the model for every well, we can then estimate EUR. This concludes this video. To learn more, please visit our website. There are numerous examples and datasets on the download page. For more information, contact support at kappaeng.com or your local Kappa office.